What's up y'all, this your boy Master P. Doc. Before I get on to my content, for those that are new to my channel, welcome. I get my content on the Philadelphia Eagles, whether it's the off-seasons, the pre-seasons, the regular seasons, the playoff games, the free agent signings, the trades, the draft prospects, even the draft picks. And um, the Philadelphia Eagles highlights of all the former, all the Hall of Famers, legends, and former and ex-players that I have done. Some of those that nobody has done before. Check out the playlist. Check out some of the highlights that I have done. Saying prayers and condolences out to those that's no longer with us. And uh, one of them recently, recently passed away, but um, I'm going to talk about that after um, I give you my content on the preseason game with um, the Eagles and the Browns. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram. It's in the description box. Show your boys some support. Show your boys some love. On the road to 1K, help your boy get there. That would really mean a lot. If y'all can uh, help, uh, help me and uh, help my channel grow. So let's get on to it. Let me talk about um, the offensive side before I get on to the defensive side. I really have not liked what I am seeing from Mar Marcus Mariota. He's really like disappointing me. He's, he's really disgusting me right now. I was really loving this signing, man. Because like, I thought this would be like the best sign that, like, for the backup, like somebody like to be a backup QB. Since um, Jeff Garcia, like, come on, man, like, I was totally wrong, like, I should have never got ahead of myself, like, with like with that um, statement. Now it's starting to look like it's a slap in the face, so he could be cut, he could be um, traded somewhere else soon, who knows. But now I'm starting to get worried if they keep him as QB number two. I would really get nervous. For the way he's been performing. It, it's really been embarrassing. And I do not like it at all. But for when I see from uh, Tanner McKee. He keep this up. Um, let's see how far um, he's going to um, he's gonna, um, go from here. Who knows. He might be QB number two. He might be QB number three. But um, he, he's new though. He, he's young. He has a lot to learn. But I'm liking for what I've seen from him. He showed some fight. And that's what I like from him. So um, I expect to see him play in um, the next preseason game. The last one. Before um, the regular season start. And um, I like what I've seen from um, the most parts from uh, Cleveland. He had a few nice catches for a couple of yards. Yeah, he missed um, a few catches um, there and then. But he had an um, okay performance before getting hurt. And I, I wish him um, a full speedy recovery. And um, that's all I can say about him. Like, not too much. He had um, an okay performance. I like what I seen from uh, Johnny King. He had a um, touch, like, touchdown in the end zone for um, um, two-point conversion number two to, um, to tie the game up. All right, who else, who else? I'm just making sure I'm not missing anybody else. Uh, oh, let me get to Trey Sermon. He had um a few um, rushing, um, rushing yards, and he had um, one fumble where he uh, coughed up the ball. But in the second half, he found a way to, um, to bounce back and redeem himself. That kept his job. And he just um he just saved himself from that. So he found a way um, to bounce back and redeem himself. So, um, shout out to um, Trey Sermon. I hope he um, hold on to the ball next time. All right, who else? Who else? Just make sure I'm not missing anybody else. I like what I seen from. Oh, uh, Greg Ward. I like what what I seen from Greg Ward too. I I like what I seen from Nada. Um, even um, most parts from um, Penny Rashad. I mean, he he did um. A few, not too much though. But he had um this one um rushing yards from um, that he gained a couple of yards. So um not too much to say about him. But he he had um this one big rushing um to, um gain some yards. That's about um, all I can say about him. So who knows how far um he's gonna go from here? Um whether he makes the team or not. Only time will tell. Who knows? But we are gonna find out um. This next um and last final preseason game um of the year before the regular season start. 
and that's about it. So on to the defensive side. Hmm. Some of these linebackers, besides um Christian Ellis, who had a solid performance, and Zach Cunningham. Zach Cunningham, he had um a solid performance in this game too. He had a couple of tackles, he had a couple of stops. He made some pressures there and then, but he he been all around, so I'm liking for what I've seen from him. So we got our um, our linebacker number two, who's gonna play alongside Nicole Dean. So Zach Cunningham, we're looking at um QB no linebacker number two, excuse me, <laughs> almost said QB. But as far as the other um, linebackers, they still could not tackle, they could not stop, they could not cover. Oh man, we need to find someone else. Someone else. Because we got Nicole Dean, Zach Cunningham, Christian Ellis. Those are three linebackers right now. And who knows where Merrill is going to go from here. Like, whether he makes a team or not. Like, who knows if, if he will make it or not. Who knows. But the front four, oh, man. And Ojamu, he almost had this one opportunity. He, he can never get this again. Because you're supposed to catch that. You should have caught that. Oh, man. I wish he would have caught that. I know he was disappointed in himself. Because, like, that that's... You're never going to get that opportunity again, man. That that was, like, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you right there. Especially as a rookie. Oh, man. But... But as far as the other front four, like, um, Marlon T., he he had um a 50-50 game, um he had a, a performance um there and then some of them he did good some of them like he didn't do much, but that's all I can say. Now let's get to the QBs defensive backs safeties. Now Zach McPherson, he was getting burnt left and right, but um then the next play he got hurt where he got cut off the field. And he's officially out for the season, so my prayers and um goes out to him. I wish him a full speedy recovery. This is why like, I never wanted him like I never wanted to see him playing on the outside because he's a slot corner. It shows it. He is a slot corner. But Eli Ricks and um they had a solid performance, even um Josh Joe for the most part, but Keely Ringo. This is the second time, man. Uh, I'm really like getting impatient with you. You still have not doing your job, man. You still have not showing up. Come on, man. I don't know what's going on with you, like. But as far as um the safeties, Sidney Jones still been looking solid. He's been all around. Pressures, blitz, tackling, stops. He's showing up every step of the way, and I'm loving. Like, I'm loving that. I'm loving what I've seen from him, and he needs to keep doing that. Stay that way. Don't take your foot off the pedal. And oh man, like special teams. Good gosh, man. They haven't been looking good as well, man. Like special teams, they need to like figure something out. Cause I don't like the, like the special teams coach, man. Like right now, because like I don't know what's up with him. Like it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. Like, I I can't even, like come up with um think of what like what to say about it. Like, but I just gotta say it's been looking bad these last few games. All right, let me make sure um, I ain't missing anybody else. Um, who else did it? Who else did it? That's about it. Um, some of the, um, the QBs did good. Some of the safeties did good. Um, but Zach, Zach Cunningham, he had a solid performance. Oh, 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 the Kobe Dean. I almost forgot the Kobe Dean. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. The Kobe Dean, he had this one big play, this one big turnover to get the offensive, like, the ball back. But then, 
the second run play is where Gainwell got caught in the backfield for a safety. I I should have known I would have saw a safety coming. I did not like that at all. But um, back to Nicobe Dean. He had a, like, a solid performance in this game. He's been all around. Like It shows like why he's like LB like, number one. He's a starting LB for sure. There's no question. He showed it. Why he's a dog. And um, I just want to make sure, make sure, make sure. Oh, Noah Smith. He had a couple of pressures uh, there and then. He tried to get to the QB. He almost had a sack. But um, before getting hurt. But good thing is nothing too serious. He um had a shoulder injury. But I'll keep him out for the next game because we need him for week one. We need him for week one. And that's really important. Like uh, he, He's one of our main important and key players. Because Hassan Riddick is out like, on thumb, like, getting a thumb surgery. So he's going to be like, be back during um, the second half of the season. So I wish him um, a full speed of recovery. And that's all I got to say. And, um, now, like I was saying earlier, um, we witnessed um, a loss of an Eagle legend. And... Um, Maxi Bogan, a former um, All Pro and a Pro Bowl um, linebacker and um, NFL World Champion, has unfortunately passed away at 85 years old. He was drafted to the Philadelphia Eagles in the first round in 1960, the year they won um, their last NFL World Championship by beating the Green Bay Packers. They were the only team to do that. And at Franklin Field was one of like the greatest moments in a franchise history. Because um that that was like one of the greatest stories in um franchise history, but in NFL history in general, period. He learned um oh, excuse me, that, that was my other phone. He learned a lot from um concrete charty, like the late great Chuck Ben Eric. Yeah, Concrete Charlie, that is. That's what they call him. Chuck, he learned a lot from Chuck Benerick. But ever since um, Chuck um, Benerick uh, retired, he became um, one of the team captains. Like, he, like one of the, um, the leaders of the team. Right after he retired for a couple years. But um, as years went by, he's been um, a start, starting linebacker. He had a couple of tackles. He had a couple of interceptions. He's one of the best linebackers during that time. But by the time he retired in um, 2016, he was in, um, inducted um, into the Eagles Hall of Fame along with Brian Westbrook back 2015, 2016. And he's going uh, to be remembered for the hard work and dedication that he has brought with this team especially his rookie year in 1960. And that's all I can say. Um, rest in peace, Maxie Bogan. Check out the highlights that I have done of him. Learn him. Study him. <clears throat> Appreciate him. Send your prayers and condolences out to his family and friends. And everyone that knew him. The type of person, the type of player he was. Learn him. Like, watch that video. Check it out. And um, that's all I can say for today. So if y'all enjoy my content, hit the like button, comment below, subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram, and stay tuned for more. Fly equals fly. Y'all have a good day. Be safe.